All right, guys, so this is just gonna be a quick video, but I figured I'd give you guys a look at my uh, Jet Dynamics ride plate I just installed. This thing looks absolutely insane, and I am a little bit scared and excited to try it out. It's got this crazy, like, concave, and it sticks out. It sticks out like a probably a good, a good five inches, it looks like. Like this thing, I, I'm a little scared for my shins on this thing, but we'll see how it performs. It might be worth it. And uh, unfortunately, I am running the stock nozzle again. That's why I redid all this because I had to take apart my or take off my ride plate, like I said in my hull repair video, and had to switch this out because this weekend I did uh, tear out the steering like ball out of this thing here on that so that was some pretty good pretty good carnage from this weekend i was just riding along and then it just stopped steering so i had to ride home slow with my feet in the water trying to steer just by like leaning and stuff but this was one of the really early production uh pro watercraft nozzles but i i mean i don't i'm obviously don't want to keep any of you from going and picking that up because i got in at the early stages of it and got like more than half off of it i didn't pay too much because it was like a uh just after testing they released that to a few people and i was in line for it so it was an earlier one they have a little bit of a different design now with like some quick steer fins which is pretty cool so i'm not trying to say it's a bad product or anything but that's why i'm not making a video about it but that's just a little side thing is that this would usually be on it and it would look even crazier with the the nozzle sticking out a little farther and the plate but yeah this is the new version of the jet dynamics ride plate and we're gonna see how it does this week and uh i'll keep you guys updated on that but i just wanted to show how crazy this thing looks on the ski just absolutely insane how far it sticks out the plate's just huge but I'll let you guys know how it goes and if it if I can really feel much of a difference from the old uh, West Coast extended ride plate, which doesn't not look extended at all compared to this monster. But anyways, just a quick little video on that and I'll let you guys know I should be out riding this week and then all next week also. So I'll make an update video later and I'll catch you guys in the next one.